So this is the first event of this season, isn't it? And we've come along really just to uh, try and get a few more tips and hints on how to drive these machines and how to get up these hills. They look incredibly steep, a bit tricky. We've got Chris here, who's uh, he's he's the one that drove off the ramps. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's sussing it all out. Let's go and see Colin. Colin on the technical side. So Colin is our uh, our chief mechanic. He's sort of getting things well sussed out here. Look, he's in the zone. He's concentrating. He don't even have the cameras on him. Are you, are you getting this it's sussed more out? Technical than it looks actually, places. So like, but see, they're, 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 Oh, they've, yeah. they've finished up the top there. Yeah, that's those. right. They're just coming down a shortcut, basically. So the idea for us is um, we're just trying to suss out exactly how these the actual events work. Colin's sussing yeah. out. Uh, the important thing be is the... red post on the right. Yeah. All right, so he's got red on the right and finish at the blue. Yeah, we've got a problem here though, uh, Cole. Um, somebody doesn't know their left, left and their right. Yeah, right. I do get a bit confused. What yeah. I'll do is before the, before we start, I'll staple one of his hands yeah. to the steering wheel and I'll tell him that that's his right hand that's yeah. staple. How did that go? That was good, yeah. It's uh, it's you're going to come to a stop and no, it just yeah. carries on going. So it's pretty dry that side actually. So. Yeah, we were fully expecting it to be very, very muddy today, but... No? So far, um, but yeah, forecast a lot of rain this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. I think things will change a bit. But as a as a competitor, do you prefer it when it's all wet and muddy? Is I that do, the thing? Yeah, yeah. sometimes it's a little bit too easy, like this. Yeah. You know, everyone's clearing it. It's yeah. a bit of competition. If you're getting to the top of the hill every time, yeah. in my mind, it's obviously too easy. Quite a steep hill there. It won't really come out well on camera, but really tight turns. So let's just bring this up to speed. Um, we One thing that has been done, we mentioned about the steering wheel being set far too forward um, for us, and Chris has made this beautiful bracket. It's probably the cleanest and smartest thing on the whole car at the moment, but it's you can see now we've now got a really good angle on the steering, so that's that sorted out. I think um, we ought to focus on the bearing. The, the bearing, the now we won't focus, we're not gonna focus too much on things that are prehistoric. Um, the other thing, the sender unit, because of the electric fan we had to rig up, when I say we, I'm talking to Colin, we had to rig up uh, a switch to make it run the whole time because the sender was gone, but Chris has now ordered a new sender which has come in. Let so me go and get it. We're going to fit that and um, judging by Chris's previous uh, orderings, it's going to be the wrong thread. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have also a new um, little filter here that Chris has made which is beautiful this part here was from an old sieve you can still see bits of peas and beans in it um, but that does the job that's very good that's gonna fit in it well the only way to find out is to try it item none returnable if bag is open right put it on without taking it out of the bag <laughs> here we go this is like uh, what was that film with Harrison Ford where the take off the stone and put, replace it with something. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Raiders of the Lost Sender. This is it. Whee! <laughs> 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 I still yeah, that's it. We need a break now. We've done one job. No matter what I got off the ground For something that matters Oh, you've got to get a picture oh, of that. Oh, this, this is one of the most important jobs, isn't it? Making things now look, look Now look at the condition. Of, now Can't look at the condition. Of, I don't that. think that will come out too well on uh, on video, but we, uh, uh, what we do, a bit of Duraglit on here, 
buff that to a high sheen, we're away. Oh. Right, that one's undone, all right. You've got a loose nipple there, Carl. Do you know? Every hour we spend together, and suddenly, curves are coming off. The chances are small. If you know me, just like the lottery. I just hope we could stay together. Wait and see. But the chance. Well, I thought he was buffing your shoes there. It's not, it's not the outer bit I want buffed up. I know, no, I know what you want. We're just working, we're making the whole thing nice. And now a word from our sponsor. But the chances are small, it's like the world. Ah, so yes. That's the problem in there. That's a bit gunky. That's where it should be fairly clean. He's had it slightly cross thread on the very first uh, turn and if you look you see the thread is just rounded on that first two we could file that off couldn't we second one won't work like that yeah i think that's looking right. good good what do we have here this here is supposed to be clean metal that's the rubber seal so if you look this is the outer rubber seal there's the inner rubber seal there and this is supposed to be spotless and all immaculate and clean and so uh, shall I nip off and get the pledge and uh, a duster? So this is looking rather sparkly new now. Number one done, number two to go. All right, number one master cylinder refurbished and just going back in position. Look at the discs as well. We've had a very good uh, clean up. Take most of the rust off. And uh, yeah, gradually putting it back together. Not just yet. Not right, here. So, um, I'll take it out. We've Sorry. taken our beautiful, comfy Rolls Royce esque <laughs> leather seating out. <laughs> just needs a light dusting wouldn't you say Chris yeah a light dusting yeah, yeah. but Colin light point light. out now to me what you've just spotted now we've taken the seat out this Let's piece have... of chassis has been repaired with a bit of square bar and ah. professionally welded as you can see from the bird shit on that end and then this has obviously had some holes in it and they've got a bit of metal and stuck it on. Oh, it looks like it's almost like it's soldered. You wouldn't call yeah. that welding, would you? Cellar no, that's, that's welding, sort of welding I sometimes do. Oh, it's Ooh. got some Christopher welding on there. No, I don't. I didn't so do that's that. that. That quite should be in there. a major repair. I mean, Shouldn't basically, they? this car is in danger of lips literally falling to bits if we if we trialled it in its current state. Um, there are a few chassis uh, yeah. problems. But we'll repair it all in time. And on further inspection, we find Just another there. join on the chassis. Not even yeah. welded. That is not, as you say, not even welded. They obviously, the they obviously didn't quite get round to the welding on that one. No, no. Um, I think this car's had a hard life. Yes, it has a hard although life. It, although it was a championship winning car. Yeah. So we're told. Well, <laughs> what did it win the championship of though? I the biggest know. heap of... <laughs> But you know, it's all the fun is in the repair. If this was immaculate, these two guys here will be going, what can we damage on it so we can repair it? it? So this is day two of us uh, working on the car. And to be honest, we're finding a lot more things that need some serious repair than we initially thought. Um, I think mechanically, kind of engine wise, it's pretty sound, but it's just finding things like uh, a lot of welding needed to do on the chassis. Uh, we're getting on with the, fixing the brakes and everything now, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a longer job than we thought. It's doubtful we're going to make the first two or maybe three even uh, events of the season. But, you know, that's the joy of uh, motorsport. It's uh, a combination of fun working on the machine, getting it ready, and fun actually using it when it is ready. Now then. 
we would film this whole thing of bleeding the rear brakes but I fear it would be about an hour as yep. worth of filming so now when uh, we first picked up the car this particular lever moved far more than this one which is not ideal for fiddle brakes and now we've got even fiddle brakes which is marvellous right we've done as much as we're going to do today oh what about the lid? I don't want the lid on it. I don't want the bonnet on yet now I want to do the coolant next well, the rear brakes are done, seems to be working fine. We've got a slight little on leak, on but we'll fix that. Now we've got Crasher Chris, is the one that you'll see successfully launched off of the uh, ramps How's in the first know? video. I'm ready for you to start, Chris. And um, this is the first time it's actually been driven with a new angled lovely angled steering we have now. Which will hopefully make a huge difference to uh, the driving experience. So the idea is, Chris, isn't it, that because Colin's done most of the work on the brakes, yeah. um, we're going to let him drive it yeah, flat out towards the river. That's right, and see if it's all right. Yeah. Now then, this is very fortunate to have a, a field to test our car in. Colin, Colin, flat out towards the river, then put the brakes on. Right, so other than that, give us a bit of a demo, Carl, on the... Uh, Smoothness of the brakes. Oh, he's a maniac. He goes flying off at the speed of light. And look at that effortless. <laughs> Oh. We tried to tell him.